A major challenge facing humanity is energy. The options seem closed, but are they? The human population has skyrocketed. By 2050, the UN says there'll be 9 billion of us, and our energy demand will have more than doubled. We're degrading our planet to meet our exploding demand for food, water and material goods. Yet millions remain in poverty. The energy fueling this consumption threatens a climate catastrophe. For the sake of our future, we must start living sustainably. The consequences of failure are too high. But clearly, we are failing. Denmark leads the world with wind power. But most Danish electricity still comes from coal. France used nuclear to clean up its electricity supply, but it's still addicted to oil for transport. So how do we break the world's dependence on coal, oil and gas? Renewable energy will help, but it won't be enough. We can't ignore nuclear. We know nuclear can be done quickly and economically. The French went from 5 to 80% in 22 years. And it's safe. Coal accidents kill thousands each year. Nuclear has the best safety record of any major power source. Older reactors proved vulnerable to extreme events, but the modern ones are brilliant. They can be big or small. They cool themselves down and can be built underground. For economic and environmental reasons, China is embracing nuclear today. They want cleaner air and secure energy. Do we? Nuclear power captures all of its reactor waste. Fossil fuel dump theirs in the atmosphere. Next generation reactors eat old nuclear waste to make abundant electricity, the ultimate recycling. With that technology, a golf ball of waste will provide a whole lifetime of energy, compared to about this much coal. It's our choice. We have to make it now.